guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have Shazam! Fury of the Gods pitch meeting. I am a huge fan of pitch meetings videos. They're really cool and, and funny, and I do agree with a lot of the things that are he talks about i believe his name is ryan i forget his last name i believe his name is ryan though but like yeah he's a pretty funny dude and yeah i'm gonna check out uh his take his thoughts and like his jokes he's got for uh shazam fury of the gods i actually saw the movie last night it was it was all right i don't think it's as bad as eh. Is it as bad as people are saying? Well, well, I'll discuss it more later after the video, but let's just dive right into this video. So you have that Shazam sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I was thinking we have Shazam go up against Black Adam in this one. You know, oh. his main nemesis from the comics. Oh, I absolutely love that idea. Let me just check with him, okay? What, with who? <laughs> Hi, Dwayne, it's producer guy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, we can shoot something in the jungle soon. Listen, I was oh wondering if Shazam 2 <laughs> could have him maybe go up against Black Adam. What do you think? Is, it, is this not your decision? Great. Oh, that's, that's what fantastic. I'm saying. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's not, that's not gonna happen. What? Uh, he wants Black Adam to fight Superman. He doesn't want Black Adam to have anything to do with Shazam. But he, but he, but he, you know, he definitely does, though. Yeah, but see, there's been a change in the hierarchy of power in the DCEU. Meaning? I keep hearing that. What is, I don't, what what does that mean? It means I'm terrified of Dwayne Johnson. Oh my god. <laughs> he's a powerful man and he's huge. That, I mean, yeah, that... he is. So yeah, you got any other ideas for me? I, I guess I can figure something else out. Please do. Please do. <laughs> yeah. oh so my you gosh. have a new Shazam movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So Shazam is going to go up against the Daughters of Atlas. Are they played by Dwayne the Rock Johnson? They're not. Oh, thank God. Okay, so great. Tell me about this thing. Well, these two Daughters of Atlas, they steal the wizard staff. You know, the wizard from the first movie? How come? They need it for evil stuff. Uh-oh, and what's going on with Billy Batson? Oh, well, all the kids are a couple years older now, so Billy's kind of afraid he's going to get kicked out of the foster home when he turns 18. Oh, so he's like a little bit older, a little bit more mature as Billy yes yeah, Shazam he's somehow gonna act even more childish than the first exactly. movie exactly the main criticisms of the first movie how Billy Batson didn't really feel like the same person as Shazam yes so we're not gonna fix no okay what we will do is give the kid version a lot less screen time this time around I guess that's something okay sure so anyway Freddie meets this new girl at school and they fall in love pretty much instantly oh how come because that's what I I wrote that down right here oh okay gotcha yeah see he does something kind of brave and so she's like oh ho, ho, I am in to this child. What? Oh, well, she's actually a 6,000 year old god and he's, you know, a minor, so it's pretty romantic. That's not, that doesn't seem okay at all. Well, see, we're gonna acknowledge that it's kind of creepy and that makes it not creepy and okay. Is that how that works? It might be, yeah. So, anyway, she has these Just crazy like powers an anime. Where she can, like, move and rearrange buildings and stuff. What happens to the people inside those buildings? Unclear. And so, we're gonna find out she's actually the third daughter of Atlas. Uh oh. Yeah, but she's good now because she fell in love with the child. Uh. But her two <laughs> sisters, they take away Freddy's powers and kidnap him. Oh no. So now Shazam and the family need to go rescue him. Yeah, they do. So they go do that, but then one of the daughters of Atlas lets herself get captured on purpose. Oh, uh, getting captured on purpose is tight, I guess. What's her safe word? What? 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 Yeah, so she let herself get <laughs> captured because she wanted to get close to this apple that she needed. Oh just gone my gosh. Store. This is a special apple that's like the seed for the tree of life. Oh, yeah, that's probably not affordable at the grocery store. What with inflation? So they want to plant this seed in their realm to bring it back to life because their realm is dead and stuff. Okay. But one of the daughters, Calypso, is like, actually, let's plant it on Earth so we can conquer it because I'm very evil. Very evil. So she does that and a bunch of monsters pop out and start attacking everybody. Oh, no. Yeah, so the third act of the movie is going to be chaos in the streets of the city. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. So the good guys are going to have to run around and try to save the day. Amazing. By the way, if we can incorporate Skittles somehow, they've expressed some interest in product placement. Oh, yeah, not a problem at all. I could have the characters run past the building that has, like, a Skittles poster on it or something. Eh, you don't like it? It's just the more in-your-face the product placement, the more money they're going to give us. I could have the characters say that Skittles are the closest thing that humans have to the nectar of the gods and then use some Skittles to become friends with unicorns and ride the unicorns while shouting, Taste the rainbow. 
We are gonna be so rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is blatant. I love it. Anyway, so then Shazam's oh gonna end gosh. up saving the day. How does he manage that? Well, he freaking he believes in himself. That'll do it. So he actually sacrifices himself and dies. Oh my god. Yeah. Fatally. Man, well, it's gonna be tough to have a happy like ending with two a minutes. dead protagonist. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, cause see, the Shazam family buries his dead body, but then Wonder Woman shows up. I okay? And she's gonna so, reanimate his so life. So random. Forms, which is a thing she can do now. Oh. Well, great. Yeah, so Most randomest ending. Well. I'm gonna spoil that in the trailer, so where was she? <laughs> <He's all night>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that worked out well. I'm gonna spoil that in the trailer, so where I'm was she? I'm gonna spoil that in the not? trailer. How did she find out about what happened or know who Billy is? They shut up until they were all done. What do you oh. think? Sounds like a lot of fun, and people love the first movie, so I don't see how this could do badly. Great. Unless we kind of... You know, announce that the whole DCEU is going to be kind of restructured and this movie doesn't really matter. Why would you... Yeah, Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thank you Ryan for George, me. that's his name. It. If you want to subscribe, that's the thing you could do. You could also just hang out here, look at a picture of me and my, my new dog. His name's Louie. He, look, look at him. That's him right there on the right side of the picture. Lower right side. I, lower I, I, right okay, we, we, we get it, we get it. But, um, yeah. That was very good. He pretty much touched upon a lot of the issues I've had with the movie. Like, at the end, uh, Wonder Woman just showing up out of nowhere and, like, knew his name, too. I mean, I know there's a part in the movie where they come across this uh, sentient pen who Billy wanted to, like, write a letter to Wonder Woman but they never showed that on screen that he sent like a letter to her he mentions it at the end when he sees her so i don't don't know if it was like off screen kind of thing they don't really explain it all that much but it was just really random that she just shows up at the end it was so weird but and yeah like <laughs> freddy this kid here freddy who just gets like a love interest and she's like 8,000 years old or however old she is thousands of years old and like Freddy gets a girlfriend that was so like did we need that like side plot whole thing for Freddy it was like it was just a mess I it was I still found it to be enjoyable even despite all of its issues I'm a I'm an easy person to please despite if a movie has issues I'm still gonna watch it for the most part I was even debating if I wanted to watch the sequel to Shazam, and I caved and watched it yesterday night. It was still enjoyable. I, I, I laughed here and there, you know? I also saw John Wick Chapter 3, not Chapter 3, Chapter 4, John Wick Chapter 4 last night as well, and that movie is really good. But this isn't a John Wick Chapter 4 review, so I'm just going to stop talking about John Wick Chapter 4. It's really good though so but um yeah that was shazam fury of the gods pitch meeting hope you guys enjoyed and uh i will see you guys in the future with a future video